What's up everybody, this is uh, my announcement and team reveal for the GBA that I just started doing, I guess. Um, so, we are starting the season June 1st, so this is a couple days beforehand, so uh, I thought that I should reveal the team to you guys, let you guys see what's up, let you know what you guys can expect. We had the draft a few weeks ago. Uh, we did a couple of draft videos on Steve's channel on Magnitude, um, but we didn't go through all the rounds, so let's uh, let's let's educate. So firstly, uh, we have Mew. So let me explain a few things about Mew. Firstly, Mew can do almost anything. He can learn any move of all time ever. That was either a TMHM or a Tutor or um, anything that he learns leveling up. Um, so, that being said, Mew is a super versatile Pokemon. And I thought that quality would be super important in this type of... Uh, in this type of league where um, you might need to change things up week to week you gotta make things fit different roles Mew can fill a lot of different roles he can uh, trick scarf he can set up these defog rocks uh, physical special sweepers he's got nasty plot and sword stance he could also baton pass so these are all really good qualities. Um, he's he's like I said, he's got access to Defog, and he's also got access to you know any setup status move. It's really great. He's got a uh, hundred in every base stat, so he's good, solid Pokemon. Um, it's just the only thing that's holding him back is uh, knockoff is the new uh, six gen toy, and he is weak to it. So that's something I gotta watch out for. But otherwise, I think Mew's going to make a pretty big impact uh, this year, and uh, he's one of my favorite Pokemon to use in battle anyway, so it was just nice to have him. Uh, now, he was my first pick overall. Um, I was somewhere uh, at the end of the draft. There are uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14 teams, and I was uh, 14, 13, 12, I was 10th pick. Now, there are six expansion teams, um, and so we, the six, no, that's not accurate, <laughs> that's not what pick it was, uh, I'm looking at something different. Now, this, the six expansion teams, we had to draft whole new teams. The other teams um, only had to draft the first four rounds to fill their contract obligations. If you want to know more about that, um, I'll tell you more about that. There's a four three years, uh, three two years, and three one years, and one mega that only lasts one year. So, uh, Mew, you could catch some flack for not being... Uh, maybe the best pick. I don't know a whole lot about 6th gen, but I do know a whole lot about Mew. Now, the second round came along, and I was looking at what was left, and a Pokemon that I don't typically like using, but it was uh, best on the board, in my opinion, um, and that was uh, Keldeo. I like Keldeo. I like Keldeo, but I don't like like Keldeo. Like, he's strong and he's a fast and he's got pretty good typing, um, especially offensity, off the offensity, offensively. Uh, water and fighting is pretty solid, I'd say. Um, and he's got coverage moves he could use also. He could uh, utilize hidden power, electric, or flying, or ice. He also has icy wind, um, surf, hydro pump, and secret sword. Uh, pretty good guy. Pretty good guy. I like him. Um, the thing about Keldeo is he was best on the board. I uh, I like 
I, I like him to do well. He can calm mind, he can sub, he can scarf, and he can uh, he can specs. And all of them are pretty viable. Uh, so I'm looking forward to Keldeo. I think Keldeo is going to be a nice addition to the Atlanta Haluchas organization. Now, when it all came back around, I picked another guy that was uh, best on the board, really. And it's something that I have a little bit of experience using. It's someone who's been around a while. Someone that is, uh, uh, you know, he used to be a band guy. But that was a long time ago. The Atlanta Hallucers in the third round picked Salamence. Salamence is a guy that I like. Um, like everyone else on the team... Uh, he seems to be pretty versatile. He uh, he's got a good special attack. He's got a great offensive attack, and not only that, he's got access to two of just above above exceptional abilities. He's got intimidate, which is great, and a little thing I like to call moxie. And if you're gonna be on the Atlanta Holuchas, uh, you're gonna have to have a little bit of moxie, cause uh. I'm I'm I I have a lot of moxie. It will make you moxious. So uh, Salamence, you could dragon dance and raise his speed in the attack, and he gets a kill, and he gets a moxie boost, and then he's just he just rolls on people. He's uh he's a great late threat. He's a great attacker. Um, people are just gonna have to be worried about Salamence. Uh, I got two big hitters on the team. I have Mew. Um, to mix it up, he could he could do he could hit from either side. He could support. Um, he could even pass a sword stance or a rock polish to Salamence, and that, my friend, could ruin your entire day. Now, it, as it went on later in the draft, uh, I was looking at teams the the other rosters and I was like man I don't know uh and I had just been thinking and thinking and I was like man what what could I get here that could uh just really uh really help out so I'm starting to look at teams. I'm stealing, I'm stealing some steel types. Uh, I'm I'm looking and I'm like, you know, like uh, like Bayern's drafted. I, I I see uh, um, uh, Empoleon is a pretty good guy right now. There's uh some other steel types around Fortress and uh. And the big, uh, you know, the other one. Uh, with the grass, man. What the hell is his name? And there's also Skarmory. And I was like, man. You know who... I don't, I don't hear anyone talk about this guy anymore. But, uh... I, I like, uh, I like me some Magnazone. I, I really like Magnazone. There's a reason why I like Magnazone. And it's not just for his steel trapping ability. It's the fact that he provides good resistances. Um, like, uh, I know Steel got nerfed, so Ghost and Dark or whatever. But he resists Fairy, which is cool. Um, and he still has all those other really cool steel resists. Uh, he also provides the typing in, uh, being, uh, you know, lightning. Like, uh, <laughs> he can electrocute things. But, uh, I saw Empoleon go in round two and a bunch of other, uh, bulky things. I know B-Sharp is, a is a guy that you need to worry about. Um, and, and so, I think Magnazone's great. Uh, he could also run Analytic and kind of tank hits and if you know anything about me is that uh i love me a good tank now uh i may know a less than i did before but i love i love a tank 
And I love a guy that can hit hard. And I love a guy that can hit tail. He can take hits, man. Uh, he could utilize, you know, you know some little score, a little specs, a little leftovers, air balloon, uh, salt vest. He can do it all, man. Um... I feel really good about it. I like having a steel offensive type in in this uh, day and age where fairies are abundant. And I really like uh, having an answer for a lot of uh, set up st uh, steel types like uh, Ferrothorn, Fortress, Empoleon, uh, uh, and, and Skarmory. And, and it seems like, uh, you know, um, uh, Magnazone's a good utility Pokemon to have right there. So, I really like Magnazone. And next on the docket, uh, I, r I really had a tough time um, in in this part of the draft here. A lot of my uh, things that I wanted had gone, um, like, just before... Um, like, just before I was gonna get them they would go I was like I'll get Magnazone now and I'll get something else later you know things things that I had missed out on in the draft is uh, I was really into the idea of Politoed which got uh, sniped from me um, and I was also really into the idea of Heracross and I was into the idea of um Gosh, who else was it? Uh, someone else. I was like, yeah, that's good. Uh, but you know, I I had a tough time here in in, in uh, the fourth round. I went with the uh, you know something that I wish I could have. Uh, so he's not quite that thing, but maybe he'll be just as good. And that would be Chandelure. I like Chandelure because uh, Flash Fire is a great ability. Um, he hits really hard. He's a fire type, which I love. I love me a fire type. Um, he's Ghost, which is cool. I really like the idea of uh, Infiltrator um, going past Sub. I think that is... Uh, I am fascinated by it, and I love it, and I think it's great. So that makes me go... Oh boy, at a scarf set that could be fun. Um, the I mean, he hits really hard. He gets flash fire and infiltrator is really cool. Um, and and he has a little bit of versatility in the sets he can run. Obviously, we're looking at scarf and specs, and he could set up sub. He could do pain split or three attacks, life orb, leftovers, whatever. And I went with him. Uh, and I'm looking at my list, and I was like, you know, there's a, a lot of special attackers on the board. Mew typically would hit from the special side. Um, it's pretty rare that he goes offensive. The only really offensive threat I have is Salamence, and so I'm not feeling uh, really great about what I have on my team at this point. And... I'm starting to see some holes, and I'm thinking, man, you know what would be really nice is if I had a fairy type. That sounds really great. And you know it's a pretty good fairy type? It's Slurpluff. You know what I really like about Slurpluff is that uh, he can belly drum, and he can also have him burden. So I think it's pretty neat that he can belly drum his way into, you know, plus six and then like uh, plus two on top of that or whatever, and then still have a good amount of bulk and health left due to Citrus Berry, and maybe he could clean up a match after, you know, things have done some damage, or above and come in and give you a little howdy do. You know what I mean? All right. So... Uh, you know, and I, I felt pretty good about that. I felt I felt pretty good. Um, this this uh this next pick had me worried, and I I had a few things in mind. There was some trades, uh, wafting around in the air, and I was like, man, you know, there are some things I could get here, and and uh, one of the things that was 
I was really debating was uh, Verizion, who's got good typing. He's actually a typing that I really wanted a, a grass and fighting. It just seemed really, it just seemed to knit, uh, fit in pretty naturally. And I was on board for it. I was like, yeah, I, I could see me doing a Verizion, running a physical set maybe. And that would be pretty neat. But then Steve came along and offered me a trade that I could not refuse. That trade netted me, uh, uh, well, first of all, <laughs> I'm going to say that uh, it netted me a, f a first round pick, his first uh, round pick in next year's draft. So already I was like, okay, let's let's see what I can get here. And then he threw in... Uh, something I've been fascinated with ever since uh, the beginning of 6th Gen, and that is the drippity droppity Gudra. Gudra's pretty cool, man. Um, as I said before, I do like me a tank. Um, Gudra, he is off the chain, though. Um, Gudra, uh, first of all, he comes from Gumi. Thus, already badass. Uh, secondly, though, his special defense is 150 base. Is his base stat is 150. That's like, uh, okay. Uh, he's got a respectable 90 HP health and a 70 uh, defense. So, I really like him. His speed is solid at 80. His special attack is pretty dang good at 110. And his attack is alright, too, at 100. I really like his ability to shuffle things around. Uh, he can have uh, Dragon Tail, which would uh, go hand in hand with Mew, maybe setting up some rocks. You know, Mew could be there. Um, and Gudra could shuffle it around. Um, Gudra can just sponge hits, man. If you give it a salt vest, maybe even if you don't, he's got uh, great moves. Uh, dragon types are always cool, um, and I'm just super down with him. He's got good coverage. He can take hits, and he can ditch it out too. So, Gudra, man, I'm really into it. So, plus I couldn't pass up getting Gudra and the first round pick of the next year's draft. So, and then, okay. And as as that round ended where all of our two years went away, I was like, okay, I have to get this guy next. I had been thinking about him for like um, for the last two rounds. I'm worried that uh, someone might pick him. I think he's flying underneath the radar of a lot of, uh, of the other uh, people left in the draft. And he has good offensive typing and he's got a uh, good defensive stats and um, he can hit fairies and also he has access to knockoff and that little guy is named Drapion Drapion's cool because he's poison and dark he can hit fairies hard he's got knockoff He's also got uh, pretty good defensive stats. He can tank hits. He can set up. He can shuffle. Um, he can put down hazards. Um, he has access to defog. He can whirlwind. I mean, the guy is versatile. What's the name of the game? Versatility. And so, <laughs> that being said, I was like, I gotta have me some Drapion. Uh, he's gonna help me hit on the physical side, which I'm still kind of hurting for, I think. And, 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 uh, he's got good typing. He, he can, he's a pretty solid wall core. I actually found out later that Kudra, Drapion, and Magnazone are, uh, pretty solid all together. Um, so that's something that I that I quite like. I quite like it a lot. So we're we're coming down to the nitty gritty here, and then um, I get a fellow by the name of Aerodactyl. Now, 
I know that Aerodactyl isn't quite what he used to be, but here are some things about Aerodactyl. Um, he's fast. I like that. I needed speed. Uh, he has that um, by the buttload. Now, he also he hits pretty good, um, and the rest of his stats are forgettable. Now, I thought about saving him because he, he's a pretty decent typing for my team at this point. But I thought about maybe I could get him as a mega. He's a little bulkier, a little faster, hits a lot faster. He's a little faster, he hits a lot harder. Uh, but I decided to get him now. Um, I don't know how much people like Aerodactyl. It didn't seem like it went over that well in the draft room. But I feel pretty good about it. Uh, he's another guy who can set up rocks. He's also got access to Defog, and he can Whirlwind. He's not really a great Whirlwinder, but um, he, you know, he's, he's pretty solid. He can also set up Tailwind, which I think is kind of underrated. Um, but, yeah, so I, I like Aerodactyl. And then in the moment, <laughs> as I was trying to figure out stuff, um... But, like, after I got him, I was like, man, I kind of regret that pick. But I, I think Aerodactyl's going to be all right, and we're going to find a place for him on the team, and he's going to get some use. He'll he'll be able to defog and uh, set up rocks and do the normal Aerodactyl thing. And maybe, you know, he can just set up the team for uh, to do well. I don't expect him to do much, but uh, maybe the team will do well. Um, and then... The last, and I knew this was gonna happen. I traded away my last, uh, my last pick of the draft. Now, what I got in return was uh, pretty nice. Now, uh, I, I traded away to the Grain Bulls, the Grand Bulls. Um, and what happens is when that happens, he had a two-year contract previously, but I'm drafting a one-year. The contract swap. I don't mind taking Chestnut. Chestnut. What? It's Chestnut. I don't mind taking Chestnut for a year. Like I said before, uh, grass fighting is something that I really wanted. I tried to get a hold of the uh, who has them, the Mankeys to get Breloom. Couldn't get in touch before the draft was over, and so I took Chestnut, and I didn't just take Chestnut, but I took another first-round pick in next year's draft. Next year's draft, your boy's going to have three first-round picks. The draft class next year is not deep, but if I'm picking three times in the first round, I feel... I think that I'm going to be able to get something that I'll like, uh, at least one thing, if not more. I'll also, I'll also have the ability to make some moves as well, and I quite like that. I quite like that a lot. So I'm I'm set for next year, I, or the next season, I'm excited. Uh, I got three first-round picks in the, in the draft. I got Chestnut, who will be... Damn it, he will be good. He will get used, I swear it. Now, the Mega Draft. Oh boy, the Mega Draft. Now, the Mega Draft, I picked like second to last. And so everything that I had hoped for was gone. I really wanted either Mega Pinsir or Mega Heracross. I would have loved Mega Tyranitar. Mega Sizer would have been cool. Either one of the Charizards, obviously. Manatric would have been fine. No. And, and it happened to where I'm looking at, I could just get Mega Garchomp. And then I'm looking at my team, and I'm looking at my team, and I'm like, man, I don't think Mega Garchomp's going to fit. He's a little slower than I'd like him to be. He's not going to fit on the team. You know who fits really fucking well? 
Mega Agron. Mega Agron, man, he's got a good just steel type. Um, he can he, he can do a lot of stuff. He can uh, he can do the old double dance. He can take a baton pass from Mew, and he can do damage. He can do work. He can go mother effing berserker. Man, he's strong. He 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 takes a plus two plus two from Mew and goes right at it. That's scary. He can sweep a team, man. I like Mega Agron. He's got insane defense. He can set up rocks, he can uh, T-wave, he can hit things hard, he can just get in the way of stuff, he can tank. There's not much that my boy Agron can't do, and I like that a lot. I really do. I like it a lot. So there you have it, guys. That is the complete roster of the Atlanta Haluchas. And I invite you guys to be excited. Um, let me know what you think about the team in the comments. And I hope you guys stay tuned for the GBA. I'm excited to be in this year. And I can't wait for next season also. I hope it lasts forever. Thanks for watching, guys. Deuces.